Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and I want to look at different Mario levels that are ocean uh, sea themed. So I want to start off with the Seaside Kingdom in Super Mario Odyssey. As soon as you visit it, it looks amazing. As a, as a fan of the color blue, it looks best when it's blue. <laughs> After you beat the boss of the level, it becomes a sunset level and the color of the whole level basically changes from blue to orange. But I really love the way that looks before you beat the boss. Obviously both ways look good. It's a great level and there are some great shortcuts you can take as well. I also love the dories that have the, the cappy cap sh shop on them that just swim around the level. This is definitely my favorite sea level in any Mario game. In Super Mario 64, there aren't really any beach ocean type levels. Jolly Rogers Bay does have a lot of water in it. It does have a bit of a beach at the very beginning, but even then it's not really that close. However, in the backgrounds of some of the levels, it's actually a little bit more interesting. In uh, Wet Dry World, there's the underwater city background, but also in most regular levels, there are... it's just open ocean with some islands on the, near the horizon. So I'd actually consider Tiny Huge Island to be the closest level to a beach level in the game. Especially with that one bit with the sand, so... It's probably one of the more memorable levels in the game, just because you change the size of the island, but also just the stars and missions that you have inside of it are quite interesting as well. In Super Mario 3D World, there are actually two levels that I want to highlight. Starting off with in World 3 with Pipeline Lagoon, it's got a very nice view of the ocean in the background as, as soon as you start off. And a lot of it is actually underwater once you get to the main section of the level. It's got several secrets that are up in the ceiling of the level, so you have to make sure you don't miss those. And it's got a extremely cool glass pipe section that you go through in the underground water under the sea area with two, like several, with several giant wrecked ships under the water. It's really cool. I also want to highlight Sunshine Seaside in World 5. It's not as much of an ocean level, but it's personally pretty cool looking to me. Just, it's, it's a great beach level. It's a pretty simple level, you just have to walk around in the square that you've been given and collect all the keys. And this level is actually reused a couple of times later on in the game as well. And it gives you lots of Koopa shells that you can ride around in if you want to do that. But it just looks so nice with the water there. Just a nice color of blue. And I also like the sand statues that have been placed around. And Bowser's Fury, which I know is Lake Lapcat, so it's a lake, but really it could, it definitely seems more like a sea or ocean to me. And obviously Scamper Shores exists and that's just, it's just such a great world. The music is incredible. It's just, the whole game is amazing, so Lake Cap, Lap Cap really just, it's really up there. Even when you're not in an actual level, just walking around on the shores of the beach are just really cool.
in Marikade Deluxe, I'd actually like to highlight Cheap Cheap Beach. I believe it's a remake of Love from the DS, if I'm not mistaken. It starts off with some houses on the dock of the level, and then continues to go on... ...on the beach part of the level. And even has a short jungle part of the track that you can go through. I really like this, especially because, again, it's very blue, and it's so... It looks so good in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Just the, be the beach, the water, the boats, the coral underneath the surface is just really good. And obviously the music tops it all off. In Super Mario Galaxy, there are a couple levels that can be considered ocean or sea levels, but Seaside Galaxy is definitely the one that is the best. It's really cool and it looks great. It's a whole ring of water around a central island in the middle, just floating there. And it's just such a cool concept for Mario Galaxy of, to have done. It's fairly far in the game, but it's got, it's got some great stars to do. And it's really cool. In New Super Mario Bros. Deluxe, I think that wa Water Spout... Uh, beach is the best one. There are a couple of levels that are obviously beach sea themed But I find this one to be my favorite just because of the water spouts coming out of the water This is the first time you actually get introduced to them and so it's just so cool The Music is great Especially when you have a Yoshi with you because the baby Yoshi sing to the music so I love the way that the, the water looks in this game when you're on the surface. In Paper Mario Origami King, the fourth world that you visit is the Great Sea. You do visit it in the previous chapter of the game, but this is the chance to actually explore the whole thing. It's pretty good looking graphically. It's got a bunch of little islands that you visit. And you can boost yourself across the Great Sea, killing enemies that you run into. When you're thinking of Mario games and beach levels, you probably think of Gelato Beach from Super Mario Sunshine. It's pretty up there with beach levels. It's got very relaxing music. And obviously it's Super Mario Sunshine, so it's on an island in the middle of the ocean. It's got some difficult shines like the watermelon shine and the sandbird. It's still probably one of the most memorable beach levels in Mario games. But just like in Super Mario Sunshine, pollution is a problem in our world as well as Super Mario Sunshine. And Mr. Beast and Mark Rober have asked hundreds of YouTubers across the internet to spread the word about Team Seas. The goal of Team Seas is to remove 30 million pounds of trash from our ocean. For every dollar donated at TeamSeas.org, a pound of trash will be removed from the ocean. So if you could donate to that, that would really help. Even if it's just a little bit, every little bit helps. And don't worry about having to donate straight away. Team Seas is going to be running until the end of the year. So please help Team Seas. Check out other people who are also making videos for Team Seas. And thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.